Hello and welcome to PlusVico. In this tutorial I will show you how to install Unity 2020. So the first thing we want to do is download Unity Hub. So we will search for Unity Hub. Okay. Unity Hub is like a platform to, to organize and manage the Unity versions you can have. I'll show you in a second. So you download Unity Hub, okay. Let's save it. Now you'll get this little window here. Uh, it's just a normal install. You accept and install the, the Unity Hub. I will not install it because I already have it here. Now let's open Unity Hub here. Uh, this Unity Hub version is 2.3.1 uh, So we have this tab for the projects you own We have the learning tab the Tutorial section there We have the community And we have our installs uh, I have three versions of Unity And that's why Unity Hub is great You can have multiple versions in your computer So the first thing we want to do here we should have a, an account, a Unity ID. So I will sign in. And for these tutorial purposes, I will create a new ID. So we can create now our Unity ID. And we will receive a, an email. You need to confirm your email in 15 days. So click the link to confirm email. Now we should be able to continue here. Okay, now we should be able to go. Moving on here. Here we have the license management. Uh, I already have a, a license, but you can easily can pick the Unity Personal and I don't use Unity in a professional capacity so you pick done and you should have your license, okay just simple as that now we'll, we will be downloading our new version, uh, ignore these versions, okay, I need them for some old projects but here we just click on add, on installs, add and we can get uh, the beta version Unity 2020, beta version, next we can put Visual Studio in here Uh, Windows Build Support, sure. You can load on documentation if you used to work offline. Okay, now that should do it for now. Let's download it. Okay. Now you should have your your Unity version downloading. Let's just wait a bit. Okay, now you should have your Unity version installed, okay. Uh, you can add modules anytime. You should have the, the Visual Studio, so it's fine. Now we can go to Projects. Select your version. If you have multiple versions, this is what you'll, you'll see here. I'll pick 2020. Okay, now we can pick uh, our template, 3D is fine for now, maybe adding anything you want, so I will put testing Unity 2020, uh, keep in mind that it's better if you have a folder uh, to keep things organized, okay, let's create this. The first time that you open a project it takes some more time so don't worry about that as you can see already there's a change here we already have our version here 
Actually, I will delete this because I don't. I don't use the shortcut. Usually, I go to the Unity Hub and pick up the project there or add a new project there. Okay. You should have your 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 scene here. Uh, let me put this to default. Okay, you should have something like this. Okay, and that's it. Uh, Unity is open. Uh, this is your scene. We will talk about this later in the other videos. Uh, for now, everything should be fine. In the next video, we'll be uh, creating a script and seeing actually if Visual Studio is correctly installed and synchronized with uh, this version of Unity. If you notice uh, any error with your version or something like that, just hit the comments and I will try to, to answer you the most quickly I can. And that's all for, for this lesson, uh, for this tutorial. I'll see you guys in the, the next video. Thank you for watching.